I'm Dan Rossman. I'm the Extension Educator in, in Gratia County. And uh, we have here is one of the four sites of our soybean, organic soybean trials, uh, evaluating varieties under organic conditions. We have actually uh, seven companies participating in this trial and six plant breeders from university participating in this trial as well. We have over 50 varieties planted in, in replications here, uh, four different reps. And this is replicated also at three different sites in addition to this one. Um, we're looking at these varieties not only just at harvest time and the yield, but we're looking at how these varieties grow during the season to see the plant structure, the weed control, uh, how they canopy, how they pod, how they emerge fast uh, in the spring. There's a lot of factors that we're looking at. We want varieties that uh, the organic producers are, are going to be desirable for their situation. The plant breeder in Michigan State, uh, he does a lot of work. He has uh, maybe as many as 10,000 lines at his disposal to look at to make crosses and to, to come up with varieties. So we've changed that. He understands our needs and our desires and, and uh, and he's excited about this uh, as well. And uh, hopefully, uh, with the several years of doing this, we'll be able to identify some of the lines that meet not only the agronomic uh, desires of the producers, but also the desires of the end user as well, as far as taste and protein and the type of things they're looking for with their final product. And we're, we're hoping we can get some new releases. The varieties we're working from right now, are some of them are quite old. Uh, the Vinton is over 30 years old now, and, and that's kind of the, the main uh, bean uh, for comparison for taste, and, uh, but the yield is quite low compared to the modern, modern uh, per, uh, varieties that we have. So we have um, uh, quite a high interest among the producers. Uh, September the 6th, they're going to be coming out and going to three of the sites to be taking some uh, very detailed notes of the characteristics, their interest in starring those varieties that they like the, the best and then comparing that to the yield at the end. Uh, we're, we'll be identifying varieties. Now this is the second year of ones that we want Dei Chin to uh, advance and we'll be sending samples to the end users in Japan and other places uh, to get their approval and in a few years maybe there'll be some commercial varieties that they'll be able to use. Not only the, from the MSU breeding program, but we're also looking at the other standard varieties that are being provided by the other non-GMO plant breeders as well, or seed companies as well. We want to make sure that uh, we're, we're really looking at the, uh, the full gamut of those varieties available for the producers, and we're not overlooking something or missing the, an opportunity. It's hard for a, a producer to look at more than two or three or four varieties on their own farm in one year, and it's kind of a hit and miss type of a thing. With this plot, we're looking at over 50 that we're evaluating, and we're, we're doing it as a, a group effort with the producers and, and also the seed industry, and, and everybody's learning along the way, and everybody's uh, going to hopefully re reap the benefits for it. So this is one of the locations. Uh, there's another site over in the uh, Lapeer County, uh, Columbiaville area. Uh, a third plot is over in Gratia County in the Middleton area. And the fourth site is at the uh, Kellogg Biological Station at Kalamazoo. Uh, the, the first three that I mentioned were all farmer plot locations. And the last one is uh, uh, certified organic, but it's a uh, university re uh, research farm. So.